Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about Lucene.net, which is a powerful array to implement search engine capabilities into our apps. It's a port from the original Java Lucene Search API, and it has a lot of features like spell checking and auto suggestions. So why don't we try it out? Let's begin by creating a console application. In this case, I'll be using the .NET 6 SDK, but if you already have an app that it's based on .NET Core 2 Plus or .NET 5, you should be able to use it the same way. To create a .NET console application, we do .NET new console. That will create a scaffolding of our app. Now we need to add the packages of Lucene.NET. In this case, we'll, we'll be using three packages. The Lucene.NET base package, the analysis package, and the query parser. Man, I, already, I already have them here, as you can see, at package Lucene.NET as add package lucene.net analysis common and add package lucene.net query parser everything with the version for 4.8.0 first let's create the entity that we will search for in this case i'll be creating the person class we'll make a person searcher so let's add the person class person.cs the namespace is the name of my project, in this case, person search, public, class, person. Now, let's add a couple properties. In this case, I'll be adding the ID, prop, tab, uid, tab, uid, public, string, first name, get set, public string last name get set public string company just to add something else and a description description we're getting some warnings and it's because on .NET 6 we need to add the nullable sign to our properties even though they weren't that, that way before let's just add a new level there that should make it for our model and that's what we'll be searching for in the search engine now let's create our search engine class in this case i'll be calling it person search engine and it will manage the indexes the and the whole implementation of lucene Let's add person search engine.cs, the same namespace, which is the project name person search, and a public class called person search engine. Let's define in our constructor the first things of the implementations of Lucene. Now that we have our search engine class, let's add a couple of fields. So first we need the Lucene version defined. So let's add a constant for it. Lucene version, version, it's equals to Lucene version. In this case, I'll be using the 4, the 8. We require an analyzer, which is the one that's going to tokenize our data, making it easier to find in the index. So analyzer, I add the underscore because it's going to be a field new standard analyzer analyzer it requires the version that we already have now we need to make a decision of where our index is going to be stored if we wanted to have it on the ram or the file system the ram it's really quick but of course it's going to mean a lot of consumption of the of the machine resources and the file system it's a little bit slower, but it will help us because it's it will allow us to have a really big size of data. So it depends on your needs. In this case, I'll be using the RAM. RAM directory. Oh, uh, sorry, it's a, a field. So directory equal new RAM directory. We, now we have our directory and we need to define an index writer, which is the one that will take our data and add it to the directory. So let's add a config for it. Config, new index writer config. It 
again we require the version and in this case the analyzer too so let's add the analyzer let's add our rider as a as a field too rider new index rider this one requires the directory we are which we already have and the config which we created now let's set this as fields really quick field and wait only field now that we have everything we should add our data to the writer so let's add a method for it public void add persons should be people well, well persons to <laughs> index so and it will receive an enumerable of person called persons now we should convert every entity into a document which is the class used to tokenize everything in the index we have to create fields for each one of the of the properties inside the person so it, we can convert it to a document so let me write for each as you can see Copilot did it for me and what it does is that it creates a new document and it starts adding every single field of my class a string field for the ID last name uh, first name last name company description and then it adds the document once this is done and we're at we already added all the documents to our index we should commit them and that will add everything to our directory the parameters in the fields are really easy to understand we have to add the name of the property that we will will be looking for uh, the value that represents it and if the field is going to be stored or not or indexed or not and yes that's it then we just call the writer add the documents and as i said uh, before just commit all the changes into the index we should be able also to update and delete documents uh, we can do it by calling the update document and delete document methods inside the writer and sending terms which are any of the fields we already defined in our documents but now let's get started by creating our search method with which will return the persons that are related to a query a search value that we sent let's try to create in that method so let's do a public method called search public and rebel person it will return a lot of persons <laughs> maybe search search term so the objective if that if we send us a search term then we convert it to a query and we get exactly the person that matches that term now we need a directory reader which we can get from the static class directory reader calling the open method bar directory reader is equals to directory reader open directory we send the directory that we already have now we need an index searcher so let's create our index searcher and send the directory reader that we already have let me import that class and we should be able now to make queries to the to the directory and the index first let's define which of the fields are we using to search i think by looking at a person that we can look for it by the description the name the last name and the company so let's add those bar Ah, uh, sorry, a string, all right, fields. Well, that did it. And now we should be able to create a multi-query parser, which, we, which requires our analyzer and the fields that we're going to use. Let me import this. Also, we need to send it the Lucene version. So let's change that to a global constant. Uh, private that's better now let's set this here and we already have our query 
Well, not our query, our query parser. Let's add the parser there so we can get it later. <laughs> parser. Now we need to make our query. So let's do var query. It's equals to query parser, parse search term. And this will give us a query that we will use to search on the index searcher. We can get all the hits of that query, the max count of hits uh, from the query by using the index searcher search method, sending the query, telling how many items we want and get the score docs, which are the top hits of the query. Now we have our hits with, which are the documents that match our query. We should convert them to the original uh, class that we were using in this case the persons. So let's create a results list called persons and for every hit, we can get the properties from the document and add them to a, to a class. I don't like what Copilot did, so I'm going to, to do it myself. Let's see persons, add new person, and let's just set the properties inside it. Oh, it did it for me, that's it. And that should be it to add everything to our persons list, which will be a result. Let's now send it back to a user so we can use it on the on the front end or whatever presentation layer we have. In a little cut, I already added a person, a fake person that I said I used a, a generated JSON with a lot of persons. And in my program, I just deserialized that JSON and now I have my person that I said, which will be the one that we will add to our index. First, let's instantiate our engine. We have our engine there and we should be able to engine add add persons to index and send the persons that should add all the documents to my RAM. Okay. Let's test if we can add the person to our, to our index. I just added a validation uh, to make sure that I don't get any warnings, but if we use .NET run, let's check if we have any errors. Seems like it run fine. So, okay, let's make a test. Now that we made sure that we can add all our persons to our index, let's just start creating our search. So while true, then we clear the console, clear. We ask for a query, we get the query. If it's null or empty, we continue. And then we search for our query, which we use the method that we already created where we search, we send the search term. If, and we validate if there are results, if isn't results any, if there's, if isn't any result, I'm going to show no results found. Else, I'm going to show the results. Every single result, the first name of the person, the last name, and why not the company name at the beginning? Result, oh, interpolation result company a little dash here now we have our queued results and we need to press any key to continue oh there it is and read key okay. now that we have our search logic let's see what lucene can provide us so let's run this dot net run and it's asking for a query so if i search for anything on the data, maybe Joe, it in a really quick way shows me the results. We can search for anything. Let's try Potter. It gave me everything. Let's try for a company like Kodak's that was there. As you can see, the performance is great and it it's not a lot of code. Then if, the, if we make a summary of everything, we just have a search engine which manages the logic of our index and our class. That's it for this video. That's a scratch in the surface of what Lucene can do. Don't forget to check the documentation to learn something new or check new features. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe or comment. That will be much appreciated. Don't forget to check all the other content we have. It's incredible. I know we're, you're going to like it. Enjoy your coming. <laughs> Bye.